Hi, I'm Cole Barber. Welcome to episode two of my instructional videos. Today, we're gonna to be talking about parallel lines, skew lines, and transversals. Say hi to Mooney. Okay, parallel lines look like this. A parallel line is a line, two lines, that never intersect. Ever. This here's a cube. Doesn't look like a cube, but it's a cube. This line on the cube, and this line down here on the cube, are skew lines. Skew lines are lines that are not parallel and are not on the same plane. And they won't ever intersect. Cool! Those are parallel lines with the transversal going right down the middle. Transversal is a line that crosses two or more parallel lines. Mooney told me that. When transversals across two parallel lines, they form different kinds of angles. To learn these angles best, aside from watching me very well on YouTube or wherever else you see me, refer to your teacher's edition of your Glencoe Geometry book. It's gonna be hard to get. But I got it. Now, the two types of angles I'm going to start with are exterior angles, which are angles found on the outside of this thing that I drew on the board. Interior angles are the angles found on the inside of this thing that I drew on the board. Those two types of angles can produce and include other types of angles. Consecutive interior angles are angles on the same side on the inside. Those two angles are shown here. Woo! Woo! Sorry, there's a train that goes by every evening. Anyway, these two angles add to 190 degrees. Yes, they do. Aside from that, there are alternate exterior angles. Alternate exterior angles are angles on the outside. Boom! On the opposite side. So this angle and this angle are alternate exterior angles. Alternate interior angles are angles on the inside on the opposite side. So this angle, woo, woo, God, it went by again. And this angle are alternate interior angles. Okay, corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are angles in a row. So this angle here and this angle here are corresponding angles because they lie on top of each other and are in a row. Right, snowman? He's happy and he's dancing. That just about concludes our day, 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 today's video on parallel lines, skew lines, and transversals. Once again, to get best results on learning this information, you must play a country music song like my teacher, Mr. Byrne. You must have a dancing snowman in your hand. Now, I would like to thank Mooney, my dancing snowman, myself, Eyebrows for helping me, and you for coming and joining us on this beautiful Christmas episode. Thank you.